it. This is a uh, Chef's Choice electric food splicer model 609. Got it on Amazon for 99 bucks. And uh, I had good reviews on it, four and a half stars. I've never used a food splicer before. It's supposed to be able to cut meat and cheese. Uh, my main reason I bought it was to cut meat for uh, making beef jerky to get you know, you know, uniform slices that they dry at the same rate. But I'm also going to try cutting um, some summer sausage, some cheese, and a, a, a boneless ham. So right now we're just going to go ahead you know, unbox it now. I've never, never used one of these before. So we'll see, I'm going to get it open, see what's in it, and probably take a look at the instructions. And if you're wondering, this is being filmed with a GoPro Hero 3 Silver Edition camera uh, mounted to my forehead. So I'm hoping I'll catch everything I'm trying to catch here. Okay, let's try to just get, the, get it out first. So let's see what all we got here. Okay, so here is. I don't know what this is. I'll just go through the stuff that comes with it. Um, okay, replacement fuse. That's what that says. Instructions. This is what I'll need to probably read, and then I'll wash it, and then I'll get to uh, cutting some stuff with it. So looks like it's on a tray. Styrofoam. Slicer. And like I said, I never, uh, never tried with these. I never, I worked at a grocery store, but never in the deli department. So never, uh, never really even seen one of these up close to me. But sure. but it looks like you got you know, blade control instructions. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess I got it pretty much unboxed for now. I'm gonna get some uh, a knife out and cut all this uh, packing stuff off. And I'm gonna wash the components, and then we will uh, see how it uh, how it cuts some. Uh, Okay, so got got it unboxed here. So now we're gonna try to, you know, run over the instructions. I've never used one of these before. I need to take it apart and clean it before I can use it. And according to the instructions, to do that, first thing that you want to do is set this switch to remove, and this slides. Well, this comes off, and then this tray will slide off. Next step, if you can see that there, the uh, so just to use a just a quarter just to and turn this it's the other way, and the blade is supposed to come off. Put a lot of lube on that thing. You can see that. Carefully get the blade off. Okay, and yeah, they really do cake the lube on. Look at that. You can see in there that's a whole bunch of lube. Alright. And the next thing you take off is the, the uh, let me zoom back out here. So the die plate, you have to take this dial back here, set this to remove, and the tray, and it's set to remove the blade is off, trying to see though how this actually oh, this slides out, okay, alright, so that's that. <coughs> I think that's everything that comes off of this. There's some kind of food deflector thing, but I don't know if my model has that. I don't know what it is. Now that I got it all disassembled, I will go ahead and uh, wash it up, and we'll be right back to actually okay, try it. Like everything's dry, so we're gonna try to <clears throat> put it back together and then actually cut something. So I think reverse assembly would be this goes on first. Okay, 
right here. So it goes on like so. And scoot it over to slice. This also has a safety thing on it too, right? Just trying this stuff off real quick here. Okay, yeah, the safety thing that it has. Yeah, you know, this is to push the food, this goes over like that, and it goes over the blade. And you actually slide it into the lock position and set your blade to zero, and then you can't. Oh shit. I didn't put it in the right way. So that slice. No slice. Aha, uh -huh, lock. There we go. You have it over front of it. So, like this, you, you're, you aren't able to... I don't know if you can really see it. Hopefully you can. You know, it's in that position. You can't, you can't accidentally catch the blade. And then, now we're actually going to try to... Try to cut some. We're going to start with some summer sausage. i got summer sausage and cheese and try. And also, I've got a ham. So we're going to go ahead and give that a try here. This try, try to move it here so you can see it actually hopefully coming out. And these slices, I'm going to make them just a little bit thicker than that. There's a, a little snack here. I'm gonna cut this last one up real quick and then we'll try some cheese. Extra sharp cheese from Walmart. Yeah, it seems to fit in there nicely. Then just see if I can do this real quick here so you can hopefully see it in there. Set here. And with the cheese here, so I see it come, come out again. And I, don't want, I don't want cheese that thick. So I'm going to try one slice right here. Oh, wow. Well, I think so far I'm impressed with this thing. It's like <clears throat> pound of cheese and a little pound of summer sausage cut up. Mm. Couple of minutes. Next up, I think this is what we've done so far. Nice little uh, cheese and some, some summer sausage here. Yeah, you know, I like those for snacks or lunch at work. Now we're gonna we're gonna do this ham. This is a uh, it's a just over five pound boneless ham, and uh, we're gonna try to make short work of that. And for this, I've actually um, got a a uh, baking, oops, wrong way. Got a, uh, just a baking, just put some tin foil on it it's gonna make a lot more meat than the other things did. So I'll set this here and hopefully it just falls, falls on there. So uh, we'll uh, give this a go. All right, we're gonna uh, try that ham now. <clears throat> Thing was uh, wet and juicy when I opened it. Hopefully it fits. Yep, perfect. That right there is a ham. <laughs> All right, here we go. See the food guy. Yeah, it still fits. That's a five-pound ham. It still fits. Yeah, it must like butter. 
That's actually a little thicker than I want, so just gonna dial it back a little bit. Okay, I'm following it here because I don't think I'm keeping enough pressure on it. Oh, that was actually pitched on the other side. I gotta keep the pressure on it. Okay, so here we're struggling with a little bit here. <laughs> Push it through. I'm not bad, I mean, it's good for sandwiches and whatnot. on the other side here so so far it's really the uh, only knock on this thing so far I think overall I like it though I mean for what I mostly be doing aha right there I mostly be using it just for cutting cheese and stuff like that summer sausage what I mostly do this is the first time in my life I've ever actually bought a ham and just did it just to try it out uh, cutting them kind of thick yeah it's okay Let's try again here oh see now <clears throat> Uh, no, it's not. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay. Yeah, that's it right there. Flopping it around here so it's on flat surface. Definitely doing the job is the ham. Not as easy as the other stuff, but I don't know. I'll try doing it completely flat on the side. I've already cut and see if uh, yeah, I can already tell. I don't have trouble getting pressure on it. Oh, maybe not. Oh, look at that. <clears throat> uh, maybe it's just user error. Like I said, I'm a rookie. This is the first time I've ever used one of these. Oh, that's thinner. Oh yeah, much better. So it looks like that if I had just put it on the flat side of the hand to begin with, I wouldn't have had any trouble at all. Nice thin. Yep. <laughs> that was the key. Let's get his operator error. Look at that. Right through it. Nothing. Yeah, that's it. That's uh, all we're left with here. Mmm. Good soup. Mm. Yeah, I think overall, from you know, 100 bucks, yeah, I don't have anything to compare it to. I've never used one of these before, but I think it's pretty, pretty uh, badass to me for like home stuff like this. Yeah, you know, once I got the ham on the flat side, which I guess is how I should have started. I <laughs> quit hanging up and there's no problem either. So I guess that's going to do it for now.